we heard outbound was dead, inbounds broken, CS needs to change, uh, but partnerships had a lot of hype. So can you kind of break down the setup for us? Why was partnerships having this moment in 2023 and still? And what are the things that played into this happening as well as what needs to happen from here on out? For us to not hear the things we're hearing about outbound, inbound, and CS about partnerships in, let's say, a few quarters or a few years from now. Yeah. Um, so there's a big legitimate why now behind a lot of the time and attention that's been going into ecosystems and, and partnerships specifically in the last few years. A um, you know, funny thing about partnerships, if you compare it to something like inbound or something like even customer success, Partnerships is a term that's been around a lot longer than those, right? Like CS and inbound. These are these are terminology that were kind of invented by a market as part of a category creation motion, and um, uh, you know, I think in in direct response to some major structural changes that were going on at the time. Partnerships is interesting because it's got a history. So uh, you know, a, a part of why people's eyebrows go up when you say, "Hey, partnerships is having its moment," is because if you rewind the clock a decade. Partnerships was not having its moment, right? Like mm -hmm. this is why I, lo I love doing stuff with the Pavilion community because it's it's largely full of not necessarily partnership folks, but full of uh, sales professionals, revenue leaders, go to market professionals, a diverse mix. And you talk to a lot of them, and you say the word partnerships, and you get an eye roll, right? And the mm -hmm. question is like, why? Not just why is partnerships hot right now, but why was partnerships not hot a decade? Mm -hmm. ago? Probably you need to go back and deconstruct that and. A lot of it stems from the fact that historically speaking, partnerships has been um, a function that is viewed as interference uh, in a sales reps or sales leader's ability to get done, uh, get a deal done with a minimum amount of friction, minimum amount of additional parties around the table, minimum amount of delays. Um, the, the ability for partnerships as a function to be effective it's totally been dependent on human beings inside of the partnerships function, kind of being effective advocates for how and where uh, partner relationships can either source new deals or, you know, hopefully help uh, win competitive deals or influence deals that are in flight. The thing that's changed in the last couple of years is that the, the modern API economy and the emergence of the cloud has radically lowered the cost of adding an incremental partnership, right? Like if you can sign up for Zapier, you can connect to SaaS products in a way where the value of them combined is, is more than the value of the, the sum of their parts, right? Um, and the amount of integrations that exist uh, between individual products and also the way in which uh, folks are able to service those products has just become much, much, much easier. And because of that, there's just been this incredible explosion. It's like, you know, order of N squared explosion in the number of these uh, quote unquote partnerships that exist between companies. Um, and what that is really a reflection of is not just the underlying technology concerns, but you think about how people buy software on the other side of all of this. And you think about it from a buyer perspective, this API explosion has meant that there are new considerations when people are picking up new products and bringing them into their companies. And one of those considerations is, what is the interoperability between this and what's already in my stack? Or what do I need to buy at the same time or alongside this thing in order to actually get a fully realized version of the value proposition out of this thing? Um, you know, the, the movement toward hyper-connected, highly data portable, kind of API-enabled businesses um, has kind of created a paradigm shift in the buying pattern, which should be something that has every single person who's selling anything paying attention.